Hey folks, Henry here, and you're watching No doubt if you're an avid hiker, camper, or just an outdoors adventurer, you are more than likely familiar with stinging nettle, yet probably even more familiar with the stinging of the nettle. Despite a quickly learned rough running, stinging nettle actually provides much more than the painful evidence of our hands-on experience. Today we forage for stinging nettle in Vancouver, Washington's Beaver Creek Marsh. And though we are far from the country, stinging nettle reminds us that foraging for wild edibles can be easy and accessible to all. Did you know stinging nettle, scientifically known as Urtica dioica, is actually one of nature's superfoods? Both rich in vitamins and minerals, as well as fiber and protein. It is a great source of vitamins A, B6, K, riboflavin, folate, calcium, manganese, magnesium, iron, phosphorus, and potassium. Though still unclear as to whether the Native Americans' use of this plant was introduced by the Europeans, it is still often regarded as Indian spinach. In early spring, before maturity, the young shoots were eaten, either cooked or roasted. Traditionally, stinging nettle has been used to treat a number of ailments such as arthritis, gout, anemia, joint and muscle pain. A poultice was to treat eczema, burns, cuts, and hemorrhoids. And because of its diuretic and digestive properties, it is still popular today in the treatment of urinary tract infections. Laboratory research suggests that stinging nettle has similar effects as finasteride, a medication in the treatment of BPH. In the kitchen, stinging nettle has found itself as the base ingredient in many popular dishes. Everything from soup or gourmet pesto to a simple pizza topping, and much more. The young shoots may be picked in early spring and cooked as a healthy green. Harvest the leaves all summer and dry for tasty chips or a great detoxing tea. After the video, be sure to check out the description for many tasty recipes. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy foraging!